I'm flying some wings today. Well, mostly wings. I got some quad stuff that's been a... Uh, I've had bugs I've been chasing in my two main quads. Nothing to keep me from flying, but just annoying stuff. So I'm kind of sick of that. So I'm going to go to uh, good old-fashioned wings. I, I do have some quads. Uh, stuff that I, I think I might have sorted out, but we'll see. But today I'm focusing on fixed wing. Uh, I got my Tech Sumo back up. Last time I flew it, I had a catastrophic uh, frame um, uh, uh, malfunction, I guess. Th this wing is, is way overpowered for what it is, and I think what happened was I crashed it. A crack formed, and in the meantime, the spars, the glue that I had holding the spars in came loose, and it just overpowered, torqued it, and it just split in half in mid-flight. And I was flying flat too, I just gave some throttle. I'll, I'll drop the clip in. So, I made the repair. As you can see right here is where the crack was. Reglued all my spars back in and uh, it should be okay. Uh, I might actually do a, um, a stick cam with the wing for uh, you guys that are thinking about getting into it and maybe do a little explanation on how how to actually fly these I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty simple but I mean I don't really see too many people actually actually showing that so let's see what happens so I'm gonna bust out a couple of quads before somebody before uh, the other guys get here and um, Make sure they're good to fly for the next time I go out flying, and uh, then we're going to move over to the uh, wings. All right, so I made a decision. Um, the Tech Sumo right there, she's flying like a beast, but I did realize that she's a little hard to launch, so I'm going to go with the little Sky Hunter. The principle's the same, but um, it's a little easier to manage the stick cam and all that other jazz while I'm while I'm trying to get her in the air. So let's get and do this. Zero. I'm going to come around one more time and land. Alright. Let me get this situated here. Alright. It's pretty windy. So, basically what you want to do is um, to turn, bank, and yank it's pretty simple bank and yank you have no yaw control as you can see it's not doing anything which is a little disorienting when you first do it so normally what I suggest for people to do is just get a good throttle and forget about that stick because you don't need it um, swinging around here but yeah, you're always one. gonna get two. One thing you need to keep in mind is that you're always gonna have the external forces of the wind. So your plane is gonna do stuff that you're not commanding, which quads never do. And uh, it could be a little, little unnerving at first, but then you just kind of go with the flow and you, you just try to keep on it. But yeah, like right here, middle, th uh, or sorry, mid throttle. And she's cruising around pretty good. This is, um, this is more like a Cadillac style of airplane. So, I mean, even full throttle, she really doesn't go too fast. It's about, about a 30 mile an hour airplane. So, it's, it's good if, it, if it's something that you're looking just to get into. Oops, see, there's a lot of turbulence, see? Two point zero. Like I said, it makes you a little nervous when uh, when you first start off, but you get used to it. And again, you're just banking and yanking, banking and yanking. And then once you get a hang of it, you can bank and yank at the same time and make it a little bit more fluid. Uh, generally, if you want to do any style um, tricks, we'll call them, which they're really not, uh, Get up nice and high, and you do little rolls, which are always fun to do. 
then you get a little bit more advanced, which I'm not, but you go upside down and just cruise around. Be a little bit more advanced, you can actually turn while you're upside down. It's always fun. And then you flip back over and try to figure out where you are. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is it. This is cruising with an airplane. It's a lot of fun. It's more of a, um, uh, I gotta say, a uh, more natural flying experience than a quad. A quad quads feel more like uh, robots that you're commanding in the sky, and this feels more like you're like a bird. That's it. The, the excitement level isn't too high. Let's go over here and say hi to this cop. He's been watching us all day. I think he kind of, I think we've been entertaining him. And uh, on more, more calm days, I'll fly this. I mean, if there's like no wind, I could fly this like two feet off the ground just like a quad and uh, just just cruise like a champ but uh, today's really windy so I try to keep it at least 20 feet in the air so if I do get a good a good gust of wind and it throws the wing down towards the ground I got time to recover it and I don't feel like gluing this thing back together again so but yeah I mean that's it that's the basics you see my thumbs my thumbs really aren't moving that much. You really don't need to do any any extreme moves. The only time you really do uh, really really hard on the sticks is just like when you're flying a quad. When you're doing a flip or a roll, let's try a flip. Or yeah. Now, when you're doing anything flying uh, when you're turning you need more throttle because you'll lose lift when you turn so to maintain your lift you want to keep that keep that up and when you're of course going up you're losing speed so you're losing lift so you got to give it more throttle generally though with with airplanes like this if you keep it at a steady throttle like how I've been in right around mid throttle you really don't have to go back and forth with uh, going up and down with the throttle if you're, if you're doing some extreme banking and yanking yeah you're gonna be one you're gonna be wanting to be on that throttle but just cruising like this you could pretty much leave it alone and as your battery dies of course you're gonna want to give it a little bit more because your motor's not spinning as fast as it was but yeah that's about it takeoffs are the most intimidating thing because uh, you got a lot to uh, coordinate when uh, when you're taking off because you gotta throw it and get the thing level flying away from you and then get the goggles down and then while you're still flying get the goggles on your head right which is a pain in the butt they do make launchers for these but uh you just i mean just get used to it because the launchers are the ones i've seen are all a pain in the ass to get to get hooked up so uh yeah so let's bring it around we're bringing it in for a landing. Uh, generally with a landing, uh, what you want to do is fly into the wind. So I took off into it, now I'm going to want to land behind me. So I'm going to circle around this field. Hopefully I don't get hit by a baseball because there's a kid back there doing batting practice. And then you just kind of reduce your throttle as you're coming in. Try not to stall, but just keep it nice and low. And then eventually just Seven well, overshot zero. it. The wind's really, <laughs> the wind's keeping this thing up. This thing wants to just fly for about a, a week with no throttle. So let, let me do a, let me do a go around. No, no shame in going around. More shame in crashing. So a little bit lower this time. A little bit less throttle. All right, right now I'm coming down. Throttle's cut and just flare at the end and that's it so 
if you're wondering about it, give her a try sometime. I almost forgot I had to close this video out. Um, what are you talking about? So, uh, the quads, I think I got the gremlin figured out in the one. The other one is running fine, so that's good. Uh, my goggle module, I'll make another video about that maybe later. Uh, I think that shit to bed because I'm having problems with um, my video cutting out. So I switched to my old one and I hadn't had any problems since. Uh, the wing stuff. The wing stuff is good. Um, I hope that kind of helped somebody who's been thinking about it but not 100% sure to see what, what it takes to actually get one of those in the air. It's not much. It's pretty easy. Um, it's actually easier than a quad once. The hardest thing with FPV is getting used to flying under the goggles. So if you can fly a quad under the goggles, you can definitely fly a wing under the goggles. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to go home, get something to eat. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.